160 million orphans. That's a statistic. Thousands of them dying every day. Overall, almost half of them from starvation, abuse, child trafficking, many by their own hand. And of those that do survive, nearly 80% doing so in their desperation through crime, prostitution, joining gangs, stealing, being turned into child soldiers, even extremists and terrorists. Those are some of the statistics. But these children are not just statistics. Each one of those 160 million orphan children is an individual little person with untold potential, with the right to have a chance at life, and every single one of them is loved by God. Hi, my name is Greg Timmons and I'm the director and COO of Orphans Life on International. More than likely there are some of you here today who have a personal connection with the orphan crisis. Perhaps you know somebody who has adopted from a foreign country, or like me, you've adopted from a foreign country yourself. If that's the case, then the chances are that you know firsthand the conditions that millions of orphans are forced to live in. And I know you cannot imagine the child you know or even your own child out there in an underfunded orphanage, on the streets, underground in the sewers, in the jungle, or even worse. I know for my wife and I, it was that experience that changed our lives forever. It was that experience that motivated us to do something about it, co-founding Orphan's Lifeline along with others who had first-hand experiences. I remember arriving at the orphanage to meet our daughter on that day in a tiny little village called Piliazovka in Far East Russia. I remember almost not believing it was possible that that crumbling brick building we parked in front of actually had children living in it. And I remember shivering in the cold after we entered the building as the damp stale air touched my skin and the smell of mold and mildew entered my nose. I remember walking down dark hallways with tall ceilings, the floors sloping to the center, carved out by thousands of feet that tread there 75 years before I did, and this very morning as well. I remember the feeling in my stomach and the lightness in my head when I first saw the children there, dressed in rags, thin and pale, with bowed legs and knotted toes. Cockroach bites highlighted by green medication put there to prevent infection. I remember confused smiles curling up beneath lifeless eyes that held no hope in them. I remember cold little fingers touching mine and hanging onto my clothing, as if to be sure they were still attached somehow, if I should turn to leave. All of it. Sights, sounds, and feelings that make me so thankful for the changes we have made in that orphanage and hundreds like it in Russia. It makes me so thankful for the many thousands of children we care for in our own family-style homes in eight other countries as well. But at the same time, 
there's the realization that there are so many more that we need to help. And what would happen to them and those already in our care if we couldn't continue? It's unthinkable. For 11 years now, Orphans Lifeline International has been caring for thousands of these orphan children, not only protecting them from a life of tragedy, but giving them a real chance at life, a chance to not only dream, but to have the hope that their dream might just come true. Around the world in Russia, Pakistan, India, the Philippines, Mexico, Haiti, Uganda, Kenya, even right here in the United States, Thousands of orphans are being cared for by the programs of Orphans Life on International. You can't save them all. We can't save them all. But you can save at least one. And when each one of you out there makes that decision, it means thousands will be cared for. We know that our programs work. We have the proof. Nearly all of the children who have graduated from our homes in nine countries 
have gone on to college and careers, with many of them starting families of their own, and most importantly, taking care of their children. We cannot allow God's innocent children to suffer when we know we can make a difference. The truth is, we just may be the only parents many of these children will ever have. And even beyond our natural instincts to protect those innocent children, we also know how important the children are to God. Pure and undefiled, please can before God and the Father is this to visit orphans and widows in their trouble and to keep oneself unspotted from the world. James 1, 27. Pure and undefiled, please can before God and the Father is there to visit our son and we are in the trouble and to give ourselves as potters from the world. James 1, 27. They need your help. And here at Orphan's Lifeline, we are just the messenger for these innocent children and the lifeline between you and them, making sure that your gifts provide them with what they need each and every day. They deserve a chance at life, and we are giving them that. But we cannot do it without your help. Remember, we are the messenger, but it's their message, their need, their life you are changing forever. Help us. Please help us. Please help us. Won't you please tell us? Please help us. Help us. Please help us. Please help us. Help us. My name is Trivedi. Please help us. My name is Mohana Richa. Please help us. My name is Pooja. Father, please.